Now this is a video I've been waiting a hot minute to do. I'm really excited about the HP Omen versus the HP Victus, okay? So we have like the premium version and it's a budget-friendly doppelganger, okay? Over here we have the Ryzen 7 5800H and the RTX 3060. And on this side we have the Ryzen 5 5600H with the RTX 3050 Ti, okay? I love this setup. This is to me the perfect setup because if you're gonna go ahead and upgrade the Victus to the Ryzen 7 version, in my opinion, it might as well just go with the HP Omen. So this is like kind of the perfect budget-friendly versus more, you know, mainstream gaming laptop for creative professionals showdown. So remember, here are the benchmarks coming up in just a minute. This channel is built for creative professionals, so that's really the angle we're gonna be taking this from. I know that a lot of gaming, gaming people might be watching this. I appreciate your view, um, but notice that I am for creative professionals. That's why we're here solving your problem with the right laptop for your needs. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna talk about a bit of the build quality and then we'll get into the performance benchmarks later in the video. Starting off, let's just knock out like the main thoughts between the build quality. On the HP Omen, we have the aluminum keyboard deck, okay? Over on the HP Victus, we have the plastic keyboard deck. This is the 15 inch HP Omen with the Ryzen 7 5800H. They do now have, of course, the 16 inch version with the Intel processor. And I even think we're gonna get Ryzen processors if we don't already have them moving forward. Okay, so I feel like they're moving towards the 16 inch and they're gonna uh, eventually sunset the 15 inch, just like they sunset the HP Pavilion recently. I have a head to head review between the Victus and the Pavilion if you're also trying to still decide between those two. But really the 16 inch screen is kind of coming becoming the de facto um, screen for uh, laptops. Now I will notice that you can see here with the 15 inch model, we have kind of this dual hinge configuration that opens fully. With the HP Victus, we have this single hinge here. And uh, let's check if that's true on the new 16 inch. Yeah, so we have the dual hinge configuration on the Omen, even for the new 16 inch, the Victus comes with this single hinge configuration. So if you're somebody who likes the single hinge a little bit more, you might wanna lean towards the Victus over the HP Omen. But if you're somebody who likes the screen that opens a little farther, the Omen will be the pick for you. Now, while we have these open, let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard and then we'll get into like the screen flex and the open and closing of each of these laptops. Now looking at the keyboard, we almost have a uh, very similar keyboard Keyboard. I will say we have the numpad here on the Victus where we do not have that on the HP Omen. However, the key press is absolutely identical. A nice medium key press, good soft, snappy, responsive keys. I just think they really nailed it here for the key press. Now the trackpad is something that's a little bit bigger on the Victus because we have a slightly larger chassis to fit a larger trackpad on. Okay, I'm gonna grab the 16 inch HP Omen so you can see that really quickly. So on the 16 inch HP Omen, you can see that the trackpad is the same size. Okay, let's push this in here a little bit. So if you wanna get the same trackpad um, size, but you also want to get the HP Omen, I would not go for the 15, I would go for the 16. Okay, but this is the Intel version. Um, they may in fact have a Ryzen build out that you can do, but I have the Intel here in the studio review coming on that soon. Um, so if you're looking for a slightly larger key uh, trackpad, I would go for the 16 of either model, the HP Omen or the Victus. Now, one complaint I have about the Victus over the Omens is the trackpad is secured so much better to the chassis. It's like, it doesn't have any like loose rattly noise. Um, over here, it just, it's rattles. I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample here in a second. It's just kind of rattly and and just uh, just doesn't feel as hearty and strong. However, the click is, is solid on both of them. It has a nice, soft, quiet click on both of them, but it just isn't as secure to the chassis on the Victus. Here's a quick audio sample of the keyboard and trackpad so you can check those out. And as far as the uh, getting started screen here that you see, I was just about to send this back and I thought, oh my gosh, I've not done a head-to-head -head review of the Omen and the Victus. So I pulled it back out of the box. Uh, I've already benchmarked it and all that, but um, that's, that's why the screen looks like that. Okay, let's move on to an open and close test and then we will take a look at the screen flex as well. All right, so we got both of them here. Open and close as easily with one hand. Um, the Omen is slightly a little bit looser. As you can see, the, the computer kind of shifted there on the Victus a little bit. Let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. Not really that great of screen flex. I don't love that. Uh, both of them don't have great screen flex. It's, it's pretty flexy. However, um, on the bottom, 
the screen flex there. They both have screen flex on the bottom as well. And let's check in the center of the keyboard deck. Both have a little bit of dip there on the center of the keyboard deck. Don't love that either. Um, but overall, if I'm gonna go for a build quality experience, I'm gonna go for the aluminum keyboard deck. It's gonna be a little denser, definitely have a better feel in the quality. And of course it goes down to the side panels as well. That aluminum runs down that way. All right, let's go ahead and spin these around and check out the ports real quick. So on the Victus, you can see versus the HP Omen, we have very similar port selection. Uh, we have the exact same. We have our SD card slot. We have our mic headphone jack. We have HDMI, USB type A, RJ45, and your power port. On the other side, let's flip both of them around. You're just going to have the two USB type A's on the other side. So you can see two USB type A's for the HP Victus, but on the HP Omen, we're going to have two USB type A's, a vent, a display port, and another USB type C. So a little bit more port options on the HP Omen than you would on the HP Victus. Now the weight and thickness, obviously we have a 16 inch laptop versus a 15 inch laptop. So we're going to have a slight bit more weight on the HP Victus than we will the Omen, um, but their thickness is very, very close. I want to say it's it's almost identical. Yeah, the thickness is, is very close. We're going to have a little bit more weight on the HP Victus compared to the HP Omen. Now, as far as the webcam is concerned, we'll give you a quick sample of that for your video calls. Which one has a better webcam? Let's find out if there's any difference. Here is the webcam on the HP Victus. It's got good coloring. It looks pretty accurate for the coloring. Definitely a little bit grainy because I do have really good lighting here in the studio. The webcam for the HP Omen, obviously you're hearing the audio right now. It is a little grainy in the background, but the color of the skin tones seems very natural. And so it doesn't make you really orange or super blue or green. So I really like that about it. And in regards to the audio experience, here's a quick sample of the speakers on each of the laptops. Now let's take a look at the color gamut range, color accuracy, and the brightness of each of the screens. As you can see, the HP Victus has a lower color gamut range, color accuracy, and brightness. If you want to get the better color accuracy and color gamut range like the HP Omen, you need to get the higher nit brightness screen in the options when you're ordering online. Um, if you want to check out the exact pricing and availability of either of these models, you can head down in the description below, click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I'll get a small purchase, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So if you want to get a better quality screen on the Victus, I would upgrade it to that higher nits. That will give you the higher quality quality screen, which will ultimately give you that better color accuracy and color gamut range. But in my opinion, if you're going to upgrade the screen, uh, you might as well spend the extra, like I think it's around $150 to get the full Omen with the aluminum keyboard deck, the nicer quality screen. Uh, it just seems to make a little bit more sense to me. But if you are on that budget, then maybe upgrading the screen would save you a little bit of money so you could get, I don't know, pay for a couple months of uh, Adobe subscription or something. So uh, just keep that in mind. That's more of my opinion. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, you can see I use the Passmark Productivity Battery Life Test. For that one, I use YouTube as a streaming platform and I stream video continuously at about 35 to 40% brightness until the battery goes dead. And I do this on all of the lowest uh, fan and battery life settings I can possible to conserve power. And then for the Photoshop benchmark, I use the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark and I just keep running that on repeat until the battery goes dead. Now for video editing, what I do is I open a 4K project in Premiere Pro, I click play on the playback and allow it to loop until the battery goes dead. So that's how both of these laptops were run for those battery life results. Now the upgrade path on both of these laptops is good. You can swap the RAM, you have access to the M.2 slots, and so you're good to go in that respect. So upgrade path is not a concern for each of them. They both have equal upgrade path opportunities. Now getting to my favorite part of this video, let's check out the performance. And a quick recap, again, we have the Ryzen 7 5800H, an RTX 3060 GPU with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 SSD. Over here, we have the Ryzen 5 5600H, 
the RTX 3050 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 SSD. So like I said, budget friendly versus kind of the de facto HP gaming laptop setup here. It's a perfect comparison in my opinion. Argue with me in the comment section if you disagree. Okay, right off the bat, we have the Cinebench R20 benchmarks. And as you can see in Cinebench R20, the HP Omen, without a doubt, is more of the winner. As we move on to Cinebench R23, same thing, HP Omen is going to be your top choice. But then as we move on to the Geekbench single core, this is where things get really interesting in my opinion, and a lot of the conversation gets sidetracked into which laptop is better. Should you get a Ryzen 7 5800H or a Ryzen 5 5600H? Will you get that much more performance, singular app, than multitasking? And the answer clearly with the Geekbench score is no. It's literally completely neck and neck, okay? And so if you're deciding on this duo between the CPUs and saying, well, if I get the Ryzen 5, I'm gonna have more performance, it's not necessarily true. It's a combination of the Ryzen 7 5800H with the RTX 3060 that makes the biggest performance difference. It's the duo of those two products together. It's not just the fact that we have a Ryzen 5 5600H and the GPU has nothing to do with it. You know, the 3050 Ti has nothing to do with the performance. Like the combination is what creates the more performance. Okay, moving forward. As you can see in the multi-core though, however, because it has more cores and more threads in the HP Omen, we're getting more multi-core performance. So that means we can do better multitasking. We can run more programs at once. And that is the advantage of the Ryzen 7 over the Ryzen 5. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now moving forward into Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, you can see that, of course, the bigger GPU, we have six gigs of VRAM in the HP Omen versus the four gigs of VRAM in the HP Victus is going to make a difference. We're seeing more performance in 3D modeling. So if 3D modeling is your thing, then I would go for the HP Omen. Next up, we're looking in After Effects. And as you can see in After Effects, there's only a slight difference in performance because we have that singular app performance from both of these processors. We have the single core performance that we're seeing equal performance here, okay? I mean, slightly better in the HP Omen, but not by much, okay? So the GPU did not do as much to help us in this situation, so that's why we're seeing After Effects be pretty even between these two laptops. All right, now moving on to video editing. The export times are going to be about the same. Maybe some slight differences, as you can see coming up on the screen now, but some of the differences are going to take place in the playback because we have a slightly stronger GPU, the six gigs of VRAM and the HP Omen. We're going to see less drop frames in certain aspects, okay? So that is the bonus of the HP Omen versus the HP Victus with that larger GPU. Now, moving on to the thermals. Now, this is an area that I love to talk about. So we have the different thermal modes inside of these laptops, which give us different export times, thermal temperatures, and fan noise. So here are those results coming up on the screen to see which one performed better in that respect. Looking at DaVinci Resolve, the export times are pretty close, but again, we see a slight advantage in the HP Omen. As far as playback is concerned, in DaVinci Resolve, both laptops will have smooth playback as DaVinci Resolve is quite optimized uh, these days for really most laptops on the market, especially with dedicated GPUs. Now, moving on to Photoshop, as you can see, in regards to the Photoshop benchmark, like I've been saying, there's gonna be only slight differences here between these two CPUs because the single core performance is very similar between the two. So whether you're getting the HP Victus, or the HP Omen, you're gonna have good performance inside of Photoshop. It doesn't really rely on the GPU too heavily, and that's what we're seeing. Anything that needs a strong GPU, obviously the Omen with the 3060 is gonna win. If you put a 3060 in this laptop with the Ryzen 5 5600H, you would see pretty much equal performance. You just won't have as much multitasking performance and programs that benefit from multi-core and multi-thread CPUs, which is actually not as many programs as you would realize. Usually the multi-core is 
built for multitasking. So you're running Premiere Pro, you're running Photoshop, you're running uh, Spotify and Google Chrome at the same time. The Omen would be able to continually run uh, high performance. The Victus might get slowed down if you start to spread out your workflow amongst that many projects, okay? So not not projects, but, but applications on your computer. So that's what you wanna keep in mind when you're thinking about the battle between performance of these two laptops. Questions, comments? Get them below. Otherwise, links are free to make a purchase. Likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you guys here in the next one.